Okay, so this this video will be about upgrading your uh, Netgear router, the WNR2000 version 3, um, through the automatic method of uh, firmware upgrade. Um, okay, so a few notes of caution. Number one, uh, hopefully you've got your setup uh, your router and your computer or your laptop hooked up like I described in the first of this video with a LAN cable uh, correctly. Uh, also note for people with laptops uh, make sure you're plugged into your uh, power uh, cable and then uh, plugged into the wall so that you won't have any issues with your battery discharging in the middle of this because if anything goes wrong in the middle of this you may end up with a router that you can't fix. Um, okay so let's get to updating this router. First thing you want to do is isolate your network uh, to only your LAN connection. So as you can see I'm on wireless here so I'm going to right click that and open uh, open network and sharing center there. Okay then we're going to go to change adapter settings and you'll see that there's my wireless network connection. I'm going to highlight that, right click it and choose disable. Okay now, uh, as you can see, my local area connection is connected, and that's the, uh, uh, what do you call it, network card or on my laptop. And you can check and see, and you see that it gives you the option to disable, so you know that it's enabled. So, let's close this off. Next, um, and, and you'll notice at the bottom here, you have a computer with a cable on it, which means you're connected to a, uh, a hardwired network, which is what it needs to be showing. This is Windows 7, by the way. So let's go to 192.168. This is Internet Explorer I'm using. .1.1 in the address bar, which is the default up, uh, the default address for your Netgear router. Of course, it's going to ask you for a username and a password. Um, username is up top here, and it is admin. And the password, the default pass, well, that's the default uh, username. And the default password is password all lowercase that's for all Netgear routers I believe okay so there we land on the home page and uh, at this point what you need to do first before you do anything is back up your settings now more than likely your router update won't destroy your settings or won't reset your router settings so uh, it's you know it's more of a safety uh, precaution than anything else just in case it does so what we're going to do is do go to backup settings here left uh, under maintenance on the left sidebar so backup settings and here we're going to save a copy okay okay do you want to open no I don't want to open it I want to save it and I'm going to save it as save it as which gives me the option to put it somewhere and I already have a um, folder on my uh, uh, actually let's just go to the C drive here and create a folder new folder um, netgear config file we'll call it that uh, WNR 2000 version 3 okay and I create the folder and then I'm going to put the, the actual CFG file as you can see right there which stands for config um, for this router in there it's this is this is strictly safety just in case your you know your configuration for your router gets wiped out in the update and uh, if you if it does then I'll show you how to restore it uh, even if it doesn't I'll still show you how to restore it so I'm going to click save on that okay so now we have a a backup of the configuration of the router and we can go to router upgrade here under maintenance on the left hand side bar and you'll see that you have an option to check for a new version on the internet well that's what we're going to do with this one this is the automatic update so click check and as you can see it found a new version uh, 1.1.26.2.6 1 uh, so here it's simple just click yes and I'm going to do this real time so you um, have an understanding of how much time it actually takes to do this so that you can compare it 
my video to what's actually happening on your uh, WNR version 3 router. Uh, sorry, WNR 2000 version 3 router. Now my power light is, is blinking amber. My internet light is green. My wireless light is blue. My LAN connection, uh, which is port 2 on mine, which is where the cable from my computer to the router is set up to, is green. And my WPS button at the bottom is green as well. Okay, now I only have an amber light, an internet light, sorry, an, an amber power light, an, an amber internet light, and a flashing uh, port 2 where my cable's plugged into. Okay, now my internet light has gone out, my amber light is now solid, and my network uh, connection port 2 is green. Again, now I have an amber, solid amber light saw on, on the power, saw a, a solid amber light on the internet, uh, and a solid green on the 2, port 2. Internet light's now gone green. Everything else is the same. Now my power light has gone green. My internet light is green. My wireless uh, light is blue. Um, my port 2 connection is uh, green solid all these are solid and my w wps light is back to solid it looks like the router is actually <clears throat> back up to its normal state as far as all the lights go by the way i think this router is an excellent little router Okay, so it's asking you to log back into it. Username, of course, is admin, all lowercase. Uh, password is password, all is the word password, all lowercase. Oops. Okay, and now you see that you have a, a new interface. And it even tells you up in the top right-hand corner over here that You've got the one version 1.1.2.6 version. Uh, it looks like it kept my wireless settings. So more than likely all my settings have been kept. But just in case you lost your settings or you want to make sure that you, you import your settings from your last setup, um, go down to administer, go to advanced, to the advanced tab, go down to the administration and backup settings and then we're going to hit browse uh, this is the restore function of this uh, router which i love and it automatically goes to my network netware netgear config file and uh, there you see it it says cfg after it netgear wnr 2000 version 3 so click on that and we'll click on open all right so now you see that it's listed over here under restore save settings from a file, which is what we're going to do and click restore. Now you don't have to do this. Um, I would say do, do a backup prior to doing the, uh, um, the firmware upgrade, just in case your settings get wiped out for some reason. It's a safety thing. Okay, so it's doing its updates. Um, light, the power light is now amber. The internet light is amber, and the port uh, where I plugged in the cable is flashing 
uh, green. WPS light is off. Uh, my next video on this router will show you how to supercharge uh, the router by installing DDWRT into it, which is a custom firmware, uh, which gives you a lot more flexibility in what you can do with the router than, than the uh, default Netgear uh, firmware. But that's for advanced users. If, you, if you're not an advanced user, uh, I wouldn't recommend it. Just stick with what you, you know works. I will also be making a video on this router on how to optimize the wireless settings to give you the most amount of speed. I think I'll do that next. That's with the default firmware. Okay, all the lights on the router are back to normal. I'm just waiting for this to come back up to either prompt me for a username or a password. One more thing I'd like to suggest that you do as well, just a security uh, thing, security feature. After we're done this, I'll show you how to do it. That is to set the password on this to something other than the default, because hackers know, right? They know what the default password for this is. You can get it off the internet. It's not an issue at all, right? They could probably guess it more than likely because password is a very basic password, okay? So again, username, admin. Again, password is the password, all lowercase, of course, and click OK. All right, we're back to... Um, the initial basic home uh, page one more let's go over here and, and I'll show you how to set or where to set the password for this router to something different than just password so go to advanced and then let's go to administration and then set password and here you know you put the old password which is password and then put a new one in down here you may also want to enable password recovery by you know, setting up the questions and giving your giving the answers into the boxes. And what that does is that if you forget what the password is, the uh, router will actually prompt you with a couple of questions. You answer the questions with the right answers and it will give you the password. Okay. Thank you very much for watching and uh, watch my next video on this router that shows you how to optimize the wireless speed on this uh, particular firmware or any firmware actually.